from Lasukubene in southern Ijo to Nimbi and other parts of Bayelsa and river states, it has been decades of oil pollution as a result of exploration and exploitation activities of oil companies leaving a tale of woe. The oil spill has destroyed everything and we bear the brunt. Our occupation is fishing, but there's nothing to catch anymore. The traps, mangrove forests, even fish ponds are heavily polluted, leaving the fishes dead. The people of the Niger Delta are not oblivious of the damage to flora and fauna, including the perennial hazard of flooding in the oil-rich region. It is to change the narrative ahead of a crucial election year in Nigeria, the chief judge of River State and the Nembe Cell Lawyers Forum organized the second Honorable Justice Ambrose Alagua Memorial Lecture at the High Court premises in Port Hackett. Our environment is undergoing severe degradation and climate change that call for environmental justice on and concerted remedial action. For about two weeks, the part of East West Road linking rivers Las Bersa State was cut off. It is against this backdrop that one we ask the road to 2023, one place for the environmental justice in our communities. As the floodwaters receded, they have percolated into the aquifer to poison our waters and we will be exposed to gradual death by carcinogenous elements. Nobody is interested in investigating or auditing the impacted sites. How would there be justice when those who operate the law, who operate, who administer our commonwealth are insensitive to environmental disasters? As a young girl, we use boats to go to the forest to pick periwinkles and to kill crabs, prawns, crayfish and oysters. But when I go to secondary school, all we see is oil in the forest. As the water flows, it takes the crude oil everywhere, no more periwinkles. What can we do to address these issues of women going forward in 2023? The topic is the road to 2023. What place for environmental justice in our communities? The governors have been derelict in their duty. They are also complicit in the genocide that is ongoing in the Niger Delta. The state governments have the deep pockets to match the IOCs, and it's only then that we would have a combat of evil parties, and we can expect an activist and a creative judiciary to assist us in upholding the rights of the people. And that's why I singled out the judiciary as the most critical element for upholding the right to life of the people and giving them justice against the depredators, the spoilers, and the rapists of the environment. I'm sure there is a governor's uh, forum they should pursue environmental issues as uh, topmost on their agenda. Individuals who are up and doing should get together and initiate class action. By the time all the layers of society in the affected areas take up the issue, somebody is bound to listen. Some lawyers at the forum define the responsibilities of the governors of the Niger Delta. The governors and the presidents. And anybody aspiring to any of those offices to take the issue of environmental protection very, very seriously. The Niger Delta is the worst polluted part of planet Earth is because our governors have failed in their duties to defend the environment and their communities. Maybe they don't appreciate the value of the environment, but it is really a crying shame. The next president we want in our country is one or a governor's candidates who have a clear agenda for the environment because it is clear that the present governors and their predecessors have not had any
agenda for the environment. The Nimbe Surf Forum aims to promote the socio-economic and cultural progress of the people of Nimbe. And the E-Love. Uvietime George, Arise News.